just got this in. So this is the V-Car SCTX10 V2. And this is a bad ass car for the price. So to start off, we gotta open the hood to see what's inside of this thing. We got a 3650, 3300 kV feral four poles brushless motor. And we've got a three cell, 3500 milliamp per hour battery. It's got nice straps. We've also got a waterproof ESC. It claims to be waterproof. And I did drive this in the snow and it's still here. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. So the best way to see how this thing functions is to just go ahead and drive it. So I'm gonna put the top back on and get it out there. This is the controller. It's really actually pretty basic. And we're off. Whoa, that just sprayed a bunch of dirt in my face. But hey, it's to be expected. Oh my god. And what happened to it? Seemingly nothing. This thing just goes and goes and goes. Look at that thing go. Just that dirt right across the field. The handling on this thing is freaking awesome. This is more of a track car. This is a better car to use on like flat land. Oh, look at that flip. A little dirt. This is us on the grass. On mode gra oh. On mowed grass like this, it handles just fine. You're really not gonna have any trouble. Let's see, oh, oh, oh! What do we got here? Looks like something broke, but actually it didn't break. See, look at that, that's really cool. Okay, so the way this thing works is it pops off rather than just breaks when it's under pressure. I'm just gonna be able to pretty much snap this thing back on. See where that is? See how that broke? But it didn't break, it just popped off. That's right there, that is, the, that is an element of a good design. You don't want things to break, you just wanna be able to pop them back into place. All right there, I'm back in business. I would much rather have, I would much, much rather have something pop off then have it to break. Oh, there goes another flip upside down. We got a little more stable ground. We'll try doing uh, like a speed pass. I apologize if my hair is getting in the way, guys. It's really windy today. It's a good day for cars. All right. That's not even full throttle. Did you see how it kind of handles in a parking lot? Much better on flat ground, making it a really good track car. 
but by no means is it weak in grassy terrain it just can't be tall grass but on flat ground like this oh Yeah, I give this car an A+. Alright, so I think you guys have seen enough. What do I think of the V-Car SCT-10X? Like I said, I've driven this car already. This is a really badass car. Before we conclude the review, I want you to see how it drove in the snow. So you can check that out. I did drive in the snow uh, during March of this past winter. So take, definitely take a look at that here. See how it does in the street. Oh wow, look at that. Whoa, oh geez, I'm slipping all over the place. You can see it just tearing up the snow. Oh man. That is cool. Doing some figure eights here. Yeah, so you can't really drive it in super thick snow. People must think I'm an idiot out here driving this car. Ah! Yeah, so you're gonna get stuck if the snow is uh, a certain amount deep, but oh, it's pretty good, and it's definitely, I believe, waterproof or water resistant, rather. Cool. Just tearing it all up. So yeah, it seems to be legit that the waterproof ESC uh, is real, but I don't think I'm gonna be really taking this where there's water. You're probably gonna wanna stay, like I said, either on uh, asphalt or in a nicely cut field here, or even like a baseball field. Someplace where you can just take this and rip it without having to worry about a whole lot of bumps. But you can definitely take, uh, a beating though, this is well constructed material and the parts tend to pop rather than break, which is exactly what you want when you have something like this. Uh, V-Car uh, did an excellent job on this SET10X V2 and I would highly recommend checking it out if you're in the market for a new RC car. All right, that's it guys. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Oh my God. Let me know, all right guys. Let me know if you have any questions about the V-Car and uh, as always, have a great day guys.